Welcome to the Mindfulness Meditation Channel on YouTube. My name is J.P. Ferner. If you are feeling stressed, anxious, overwhelmed, or mentally exhausted, then this is the guided meditation video for you. In addition, this recording may help if you experience sudden bouts of anger and frustration as well. This guided meditation recording is excellent for quieting the mind and managing stress. And before we begin, please take a moment to click on the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell icon to be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you. Please make sure you are in a safe and comfortable location where you could fall asleep. Let's begin. When you notice feelings of anger, anxiety, stress, or frustration, or any so-called negative emotions, you may use this guided meditation to reduce these feelings immediately. It is important to remember that feeling strong emotions is a normal, natural part of life. It is important to observe emotions in a non-judgmental way. This technique will help you respond to difficult situations instead of reacting to them in negative ways. Now let's go ahead and take a few moments to relax by taking several long, deep breaths in and out. And if it feels right, you may now close your eyes, or you may also lower your gaze toward the floor. I also encourage you to bring a slight smile to your lips and press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> I realize it sounds silly, but this technique has helped me over the years, and I'm sure it will help you as well. Please listen carefully. Every sound and every word you hear from now on will only serve to strengthen your state of relaxation and promote a more tranquil, peaceful mind. Let's begin by observing any emotions you might be experiencing. And now accepting the emotion for what it is. It is simply a thought or a feeling. An emotion is not good or bad. It is not positive or negative. It is not wrong or right. Simply observe the emotion and allow it to be with you without reacting to it. And staying in the present moment, feeling your lungs expanding as you breathe in and contracting as you breathe out. And on your next breath in, I'd like you to recognize any tension in the body and on the next breath out choosing and allowing the tension to be released next let's take a few more deep breaths using this new technique breathe in and out through the body part that has tension in it. As you breathe out, visualize in your mind's eye the tension being carried away 
on the breath. I encourage you to repeat this technique for a few more deep breaths. And I will also be practicing along with you. And now observing which feelings and thoughts are present at this time. Taking note of where the emotion is felt or stored in the body. Is it being held in your shoulders, neck, or back? Is it held in your jaw or face? You may be experiencing discomfort in other areas of your body. Emotions can manifest in any number of places throughout the body. You might think of it as being uncomfortable, but try not to label the sensation and remind yourself that it is only a feeling in the body. Emotions and sensations are usually a temporary feeling that dissipate over time. Next, we are now going to relax some of the more common areas of the body where emotions are kept. To begin, let's take both of your hands and make a fist Hold this position while gradually tightening your grip. Tighter and tighter. As tight as you can without causing discomfort. Now allowing the tension to extend out from your fist to your forearms and arms. You notice that they are shaking with the strain. And now allowing your fist and arms to relax, unclench your fists, arms and forearms, allowing them to go limp and simply hang down at your side. Now observing the difference between the tension and the relaxation. You may notice that it is much more comfortable and enjoyable to be relaxed. Now moving your attention to your shoulders. If it feels right, tighten them for two or three breaths then allow them to relax. Or you can simply allow your shoulders to soften and slump down, whichever feels right. Observing how nice it feels to allow your shoulders to relax. Now placing awareness on your face and jaw. And if it feels right, try clenching the muscles in your jaw and face for two or three breaths.
and now choosing to relax the face and jaw while observing the wonderful sensation of relaxation and how wonderful it feels. And now moving into an area of your body where you feel the most tension. And placing your mindful awareness on the sensation. Being careful to not place any label on it. And for the next two or three breaths, I would like you to tighten the muscles in this area as much as feels comfortable and is appropriate for you. And when ready, allowing it to soften and completely relax the muscles around this body part. Now we will be extending the tension awareness to the entire body from your head all the way down to your toes. Starting at your head, working down your toes, choosing to allow each section to soften and relax one by one. And when ready, observing any residual tension in the body and then allowing and giving the muscles permission to soften and relax fully. Let me ask you, how does your body feel now? Are you feeling more relaxed? Has the tension in your body been greatly diminished? The reason I ask is I'd like you to take an inventory of how much more relaxed you are now. You should congratulate yourself on a job well done. You have taken back control over your mind and body and allowed them to soften and relax. For those of you that have stayed until the end of this video, I've included a special bonus I've written some specially crafted affirmations that should help with managing stress and strong emotions. I acknowledge that I am feeling stressed and tense right now and accept the way I feel. I have the power to control how I react to stress. I choose to observe and accept my emotions.
I will respond to others when feeling strong emotions in a more positive and constructive way. I allow myself to feel strong emotions, but choose to remain calm and in control at the same time. It's okay to feel angry. Emotions come and go and are temporary in nature. Everyone gets emotional from time to time and that's okay. I love myself even when I lose control. I have decided to respond and not react to difficult life situations. And at this point, if you are still feeling stressed or emotional, you may need to release these trapped emotions by expressing yourself. There are many ways you can express yourself. Yelling at the top of your lungs can be a wonderful de-stressor. In addition, you could call a friend, write in a journal, take the dog for a walk. The choice is yours. One of my favorite ways to release stress and emotions is through breathing exercises. I will offer a short breathing exercise. Inhale peace, tranquility, relaxation. Exhale fear, stress, anger, frustration, or whatever strong emotion you might be feeling at the moment. Inhale peace, tranquility, and relaxation. Exhale fear, stress, anger, frustration, or whatever strong emotion you might be feeling at that moment. Try it on your own, by yourself. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. In closing, I will leave you with a brief breathing exercise to support you on your journey of mastering the mind and sensations and emotions of the body. I like to call it noticing the nose. Please make sure you're following along. Inhale deeply. And noticing where the breath enters through the nose. And now exhale while feeling where it exits. And when the mind wanders, which it will, and that's all right, bring it back gently, without judgment, to the present moment. Bring your attention back to the breath as it enters and exits through the nostrils. I find it important to simply observe the breath, and as you breathe naturally, without forcing it. Avoid the temptation to control it. Just as we should try not to control our emotions, but rather allow and accept them as they are. I encourage you to practice this breathing technique daily for at least 10 minutes per day. 
The more time you spend in formal meditation, the faster you will see results. Now that doesn't mean that if you miss a day that you should give up on meditation. Even if you can only find five minutes a day to meditate, I, I still feel that that would be beneficial for you. And if you miss a day, that's fine. Just pick up right where you left off. I would like to thank you for participating in this guided mindfulness meditation exercise. I hope you are feeling more relaxed now. And before you go, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Namaste.